Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, for those of you who don't know. Today we're just going to do a quick April's favorite video um, on some items that I've really been liking this month and maybe a couple of the items that I really don't like this month. Um, yeah, so comment any uh, questions or opinions down below. Like if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel to see more of me. And keep watching to see my April favorites. This is the Glam Glow um, Youth Cleanse Daily Exfoliating Cleanser Mud to Foam. I spoke about this in my Estee Lauder video and I was talking about that I just got it and I was going to try it out, I believe. I think I did a couple tries before that video, but I have been using it all month and I have to say, um, it has green tea leaf tea oxide and it smells good on my face. I put it on when I'm in the shower or in the morning or nighttime before bed when I take off my makeup and I absolutely love it. I feel like it's been helping my face a lot. Um, it is for anti-aging, fine lines, smoothing, glowing, and I do help think that it, it works. I do like it. It's not for, it doesn't really say for pores or anything. It's just for those things. And it says that it um, dissolves makeup and impurities and removes dead surface cells. So this is really good for after cleaning off your face with makeup all day and then putting some of this on. So this is another favorites that I had this month. And another favorite for my face was the Clear Pore Oil Eliminating Astrogen. It effectively treats and helps prevent breakouts without over drying. And it's by Neutrogena. So I picked this up at Target. Um, it was I believe it was under ten dollars and um, I really like this because I put it on after my shower after I'm done cleansing my face and I just put it a little bit on a cotton ball and I put it all over my face and um, I so I have been using this for a good month and a half now and I really do enjoy using it I feel like if I do have a breakout which I do I put it all over my face and I see it disappear within the next day or two. It does dry out your face. So if you have a dry face, I don't want to say you should use it. But um, personally me, I do like it because my skin gets a little oily when I do put a lot of uh, makeup products on my face. So I have been loving this this month. So another favorite of mine this month was the Neutrogena Microdermabrasion Scrubber and it has two settings and you pretty much use it in the shower. I, I mean you don't use it in the shower, you use it after the shower or after cleaning your face. Um, I use it after the youth cleanse and this you don't use every day, you use it like every other day and I just use it on my face for like a total of two minutes like going around in circles and it helps with my pores, fine lines and everything like that. So that is another favorite. Okay, so another thing I like this month is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Concentrated Recovery Power Foil Mask. So this packet, I got two of these. This is also from the Estee Lauder bags that I had. In my other video you can watch to see what I got in those bags. Um, if you want to see more of that, but I got two boxes of these and I really enjoyed these. I put them on at nighttime um, for about 10-15 minutes, I think it is, and it just helps. Um, it says reset the skin look of your skin after the visible assaults of modern life with this innovative power foil weekly treatment mask so it's once a week so I usually do it on either Sunday or Monday and I'll just there's one piece for your the bottom of your face and one piece for the top of your face and I so I'll put this on after I'm done cleansing my face because the other stuff dries my face out so this kind of helps rehydrate my face 
and it makes it silky and smooth and soft and I leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then I just wash everything off and go to bed just like that and don't put anything else on after that but really good another favorite I had I St. Morris it's a medium um, instant self tanning mousse now um, I did a video and my hand was a little orange from it because I didn't get um, the mitts to put it on but it does give me a quick and instant tan like it says I was tan literally um, like instantly tan but it did give me a little bit of a build up um, one to two hours after um, I put it all over my body and face so I was really tan and it lasted for about I'd say two to three days what I shower every day so um, it lasted for two to three days um, I'm not sure if it would last in a pool and stuff like that but um, it wasn't very streaky it was really good so I was really happy with this and actually um, I'm pretty white so I would like to do this again so I will be using this again but this is really good the thing while we're on tanning and stuff like that I bought this for my kids at the same time it's a baby or baby Ganics mineral based sunscreen SPF 50 um, I just like this personally for my kids because it is high SPF um, but even for me and it's pretty organic and it has mineral based sunscreen and it has a high SPF it works for 80 minutes and I feel like when I'm out in the sun these are always really good just to put on my face the top of my nose um, because sometimes I do burn a little easily in certain spots I tan very well, but I burn in a several spots, like maybe the top of my nose and my shoulder, so I put it there. And um, all my kids, I put this on, and I check them about every couple of hours just to make sure and add more. And it works really well. My kids never get burnt with it on. Another favorite that I had this month was the Benefit Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Brightening Sunscreen Makeup. And it has an SPF of 25, so that it's great for spring, summer, when the sun is out. I love that. Um, I feel like it has good coverage. Um, I don't think it's very full coverage, but I think it's good coverage. Um, and yeah, I feel like it's close to my skin color. It goes on nice. It blends well with the rest of my makeup and I'm always happy when I wear this and the fact that there's SPF in it um, I don't have to put any other SPF on my skin when I'm wearing this another item that I like this month was also the herbal essences repair argan oil of Morocco it's an oil infused cream for my hair so whenever I get out of the shower I put it right in my hair and I literally let it air dry because I don't like putting so much heat on my hair because after dyeing it and curling it and styling it it does get dried out so this kind of rehydrates and repairs the hair and it has to me it has a nice scent to it um, my husband said it smells a little like an old person I don't think so I don't know if anyone has this let me know what you think I think it smells pretty um, I like the smell of argan oil um, and yeah so I've been using this every time I wash my ha hair or like every other day I wash my hair I put this in and it just makes my hair easier to brush through and yeah and it smells really good so two pluses Okay, so another item I liked this month is the Marc Jacobs Do You. Now, I love this under my makeup. Even when I don't put foundation on or a full face, I just pump a couple pumps into my hand, and I will literally just wear my face out like that and kind of be reflective and shiny. Um, it's just, it's not so reflective like a highlight. It's just very, um, it just gives you a dewy effect with like sparkle and it's really pretty um, I like putting it under my foundation it gives it a little sparkle a little highlight in certain areas um, and yeah while we're on highlights and doing everything I recently got the NYX dose of dew face gloss and I think this is really good for when I 
might go to the beach or something and I don't really uh, I never wear makeup when I go to the beach or the pool, but I think just for like a little bit of a glow or a dewy look if you if you want to do something This is really natural. A lot of people were saying it's sheer. It is sheer um, it, It's not foundation. It's not supposed to cover anything uh, the other day. I put it um, where you would either conceal or highlight your face and it just gives my face like a natural highlight. I mean, you can either put a little bit of mascara on and walk out. And it just gives you a nice glow. So I've been loving Tarte. And I went to Ulta the other day, of course. I go to bring something back or pick one thing out. And I always end up getting more. So I got the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. And I've been using this. I use this today. And it's a finishing spray. I... I left everything on. Um, ready, set, radiant. This refreshing, vegan-friendly skin mist brightens, fortifies, and soothes skin for a fresh face complexion. The glowing, giving skin tonic is infused with antioxidant packed cucumber fruit and plant extracts, and it delivers a radiant, dewy fish for finish for lit from within luminosity. So, um... I've been liking it. Usually I use the MAC Fix Plus. I feel like it has like a cucumber scent. Like it is very cucumbery smelling. So if you don't like cucumber, I don't think this is for you. Um, I, I don't mind it though. Um, MAC, I feel like when you pump it out, it comes out a little bit more. This one I have to do like a couple more pumps. It's it's very light, so, and you keep it 8 to 10 inches away from your face, and you just spray it all around, but I do like the after effect. It gives me a nice glow, um, and I don't mind the cucumber scent, honestly, so I do like that, and while we're on Tarte, I went out and got a bunch of Tarte things. I also got the, I, I have it in the box still, the Tarte Pro Glow in Stunner. And I'm wearing some of it. I mixed a bunch of highlighters actually today. But I think this, I saw it in the store and I was like, oh my god, it's so pretty. I feel like you could do so many different things with it. Um, I've only used it on my cheeks recently. But I feel like you can even, it's right here. You can even like put it on your eyes. You could put it on top of a lipstick if you want that shimmer. And just with all the summer, I think it's just very pretty it's not so subtle but I mean like even if you just did like a very highlight or maybe like just very sheer makeup and you just put this a little bit on your eyes or on top of your lip or just to highlight I do love it I love it um another favorite that I have is the Tarte Tartiest Lip Paint in the color Delish. I love this color. I feel like it's so pretty. These colors, this this product goes on so nicely to my lip. I have a couple other um, liquid lips and some of them dry out or like, I don't know. I don't like it though. This, the Tarte, and also another favorite is the Tartiest um, Lip Pencil, which they're like the same color, so it goes so well. I got this one for free to try it, and I'm in love with it. It's in Later Gram, and together, they're such a pretty combination. The color is so pretty. Um, I have a couple pictures on Instagram with me wearing the color, and I think these go on. I would recommend them to anybody. I feel like they're soft. They're smooth on your lip. They stay creamy, but the... This one will dry up a little bit, but it doesn't dry out your lips and, like, make it all, like, globby and nasty. So the next thing um, I have here is my Maybelline Beige Babe Lipstick. It's a matte lipstick. Um, it looks like this. I've shown it to you. I've worn it on Instagram. I absolutely love it. I take this out with me. I leave it in my purse. Just put it on. One, two, three. And... It's just a very pretty color. Um, uh, just, it has like a pink tone, but it's beige. But it's it's really, really pretty. I like it with like, if you're doing a dramatic eye or just want to put some lipstick on, I feel like this is really good. 
This is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Make Believe in Yourself Eye and Cheek Palette. Um, I've been using it and the colors are so pigmented. They're so pretty. I don't know if anyone else thinks other, please let me know. Um, the highlight, for highlight, I don't personally, um, I tried it, but I put something else on top of it as well. Um, but by itself, it's a little more subtle. So it's nice for a more subtle look. Um, but I like it as an eyeshadow too. So I do use all of these, and I just think, like, so pretty. I mean, really, like, even... Even the highlight, it's just, these colors, they're so nice, like the blues and stuff. I haven't used all the colors yet, and I'm just like, I look at them, and I'm like, what should I do with them? They're so pretty. I don't want them to go to waste. Um, so this, I'm really, this was really my favorite. And I've been using it, like, all month, so <laughs> I bought it and instantly used it, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm in love. Next I have, of course, my Benefit Defined and Refined Brows. And I just found out this morning, I was doing my eyebrows, and I was clicking it up, and I am out of my Precisely Brow Pencil in shade 2. So, Benefit, I, I love the pencil, I really do. I use the primer and I use the high, um, the high brow pencil and it's such a good combination. It's so easy. I, I just brought this out like this, but I take them out to go away and stuff like that, but I definitely want to get another brow pencil. I was thinking about trying a new brand or something like that just because I like to try different things on my eyebrows, but I felt like the benefit um, precisely my brow for like my hair color and everything like that it goes so well and matches um, next favorite is the Smashbox LA Light blush and highlight palette and they come in the colors rich coral true coral and highlight coral now honestly I've only been using this color on my cheeks and I am I love it um, it's peachy it's pretty. This is what it looks like. Really pretty on my cheeks. This one I feel like is a little too pink. I don't want anything too pink. And then the highlight is nice. I used it a couple times. Um, even as a shadow on my eye. I think that all three of these actually as a shadows. Actually, that's a really good idea. I might do that. Um... The highlight is a shadow I tried, very pretty, but all three of them actually might go together really good as a shadow. Maybe I'll make it look like that and put it on my Instagram. Also, I have been loving my BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes. Now, I've been using it for like liner, just playing around with certain things and even putting it... Um, as highlights and stuff like that and you get so many colors with it um some of the colors are more pigmented than the other i'm not going to say like i'm in love with every color that's in here because some colors i will maybe never use or like for holidays or halloween or something like that maybe um but like i like the blues the purples i use the yellow for my liner the one day um I've gone into some of these peaches and reds and auburns. Not really over here with the grays and blacks. Um, I'd have to think about something that I like with that, but I do like the overall. Um, I've had it for a while, and I didn't really... I don't know, I, I wasn't in love with it. And then all of a sudden this month, I've been just going at like very shiny, shimmery, golden eyeshadow, so... Um, it grew on me this month. You always buy something and you're just like, oh, I don't know if I like it. And then you keep trying it out or you wait a month or two and then you're just like, oh, okay, now I like it. Also, well, from Benefit, um, 
of course, I love my little hula. I got the mini one, of course. <laughs> I was trying it out. And I got the Hula Benefit um, bronzer. And I love this to contour my cheeks, my nose, um, just to bronze my face. And I forgot actually to bring over here too my NARS Laguna bronzer. I'm also in love with that. I put both of those on every day when I do a full face. I bronze my face with the NARS and then I take the Hula and I kind of contour my cheeks with the brush and then I contour my nose and my chin and I love the both of them together. I love the both of them separate. If I want to do just a bronze look, I do the NARS. It has a little bit of a shimmer in it. Um, all the time. I always drop something. The Benefit doesn't is more of a matte bronzer, so I like this one too if I'm just going for a matte look. And yeah, I really like that. Now, um, a couple brushes I just re recently got. I still have one of these in the package. Is the Eco Tools? Um, I forgot why I bought this. I think it was like buy one get one half off at Ulta or something like that. So I just wanted to try them out, and I needed some new uh, brushes anyway. And I have really just been loving my Eco Tool highlight brush. I just I don't know. I like it a lot. I feel like the bristles are so soft. They're easy to clean. Um, they're natural. Um, this is a, I think these came together, it's like a highlight and contour brush set. I know I got another brush with this one that I haven't taken out yet, um, but I use this just to put bronzer all over my face or to put my setting um, powder on my face. And also I am in love, this is also Eco Tools, wow, put everything Eco Tools is the uh, contour, um, what is this? It's the Finishing Kabuki Brush. That's what it says on it. Um, I use it to contour my face, to add some bronzer, to mix it all around and everything. Um, kind of like to buff everything out in my face. I like it for, uh, it's very soft. Um, yeah, and I do like it a lot. Does anyone watching love, because I'm diabetic, so I have to find diet drinks, and um, I know, of course, water's the best thing for you, but um, I'm drinking, like, Arizona iced tea, the diet one, the green, uh, the green tea. I've really been loving green tea, so I drink hot green tea at night, um, but I've been trying to stay away from, like, diet sodas, maybe when I go out or, like, once in a while, but I... But does anybody else drink Turkey Hill Diet Green Tea? Um, I absolutely love this. Um, there's no carbohydrates in it, zero calories, so it's really good, like, for my diabetes, and it's green tea, and I just, I don't know, and there's with ginseng and honey in it, so... If we're doing April favorites, my grandmother introduced me to this and I fell in love with it. And I was like, oh my god, you have to find me. And I, now that I'm in love with it, I feel like none of the stores have it. So I go searching all over just to find this. And I can get them at a couple stores. I think at Stop and Shop, it's, you buy three of them for $5. So they come to $1.67. Yes, I'm right on because I go <laughs> I go all the time to get them. A dollar sixty seven per bottle. So yeah, I love them. Now I have one thing that I've been very disappointed about that I just wanted to put out there. Um I did get rid of one of the products today. I love wearing NYX products, but um I don't know. I have the black liquid liner from them and it's not the felt tip it's just the regular liquid liner and I like it I I love it instead of I usually use the NYC but they don't have that anymore so I went to NYX and it works well now I bought the the um NYX white liquid liner and then I got the vivid brights in pink in another color and I did not I don't love them 
the white I'm just going to keep because I need a white. But I put it on my hand. Actually, I went to Ulta today and um, they had the Urban Decay one. And it was a lot nicer, but it washed off pretty quickly off my hand. Um, but I did put the NYX on earlier this morning. And I feel like it, it breaks apart. I put it, I did it twice in the inner corner of my eye and it just all fell apart and like was cracking on my eye. I just did not like it. And the pink also. Hold up. I have the Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner in blue and I have an Instagram picture with this and a lot of people liked it and I felt like this went on so well and it doesn't crease or crack but wet and wild does not have white they have black they have brown they have blue they have dark blue but they don't have white if wet and wild would have had white i would have bought it for them because it's a really good price and it goes on really well and it looks nice this i keep it because i don't have white and it's a an expensive liner so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um comment down below if you have any questions or comments or opinions or advice on anything that I showed you guys and I hope to see you guys back and I hope to see everyone subscribe and like this video. So that's it for now and see you guys soon. Bye guys.